Hi guys, this is Nadine coming to you from my secret garden. Hope everyone is doing well. Houston is hot. Isho. Guys, I wanted to give you all a quick update on my moringa tree. I planted her approximately two years ago. And this baby is about 20 feet. She's over 20 feet tall. Got it. Beautiful. I want to show you all the trunk system on her. Be a little close up. Look at this. When I planted her, um, it was about this big. The, the stem was this big, probably even smaller, just a little twig. And look at this. God is sad. This is crazy. This is very impressive. Now I see her flowering from time to time, but I've never seen her develop pods. So I'm not sure why she does not produce any pods of this tree. If you all know, let me know, please. Um, so this is it. I do not fit this tree. I do not water her. In Houston, we get an average of 50 inches of rain a year, and I depend on our rain in order to water her. But yeah, look at this girl, beautiful. Um, what else did I want to say? Winter does not affect her much, okay? When we do have freeze, she will die back a little, but she will come back in a fury. Um, no effect on our freeze in Houston when it comes to her. Easy growing plant. The miracle tree, the tree of life, the moringa. Here's an added bonus. Look at guava. Guava making Sunday thing in my yard because we had such a mild winter this year. All my guava trees are producing like crazy. Anyways, guys, just wanted to give you all a quick update on the moringa tree. If you're in the Houston area, this is a great tree to have in your yard. Um, you can look up the benefits of moringa. It has outrageous benefit, health benefits. Um, easy to grow. So it's a win-win with this tree. Low maintenance tree. All right, talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.